We've had a request to look at how to get to the inside of the rear seat. Someone's got a headrest display not working. So, as we're normally happy to wreck our cars rather than you have to work it out on yours, we've done a little video. We're not selling everything. It's nothing we sell, but we'll just help you guys out as you buy product from us. So, right. Um, so yeah, this is our Range Rover L322 2006 with the headrests in and it's the top spec. So on the seat, you've got loads of, got loads of stuff going on here. You've got the, the, um, headrest controller here and you've got all these others and the memory seats. So there is, I think this is the top of the range as far as seats go. I think it's got heating and cooling and stuff. Um. So hopefully it won't be any more complicated on a base model seat. And basically what you've got, we're going to show you how to take off that top bit which goes up there. And that bottom bit which, in, can you model that beautifully in? And that bottom bit which goes down there. That's what we're going to show you how to do. And then this reveals all sorts of things. So if your, your headrest motor is gone, you can see we've got stuff there. Actually, do you want to video that in? I'll just do a little, we'll just see that in motion. That might be quite cool. Um, there we go and then the other things that we've got is we've got this obviously the whole seat going backwards and forwards and then we haven't we got the, the top how do you get the top bit of the seat to do it how do you get us that top bit to move oh there that's it there there we go right Okay, that's enough of that. All right, let's have a look. Everyone wants to know how to take their car apart. So, we've put the seat... Well, I might have to zoom out a little bit. Let's have a go. Have put I've put the seat somewhat forward. So, just to give yourself room to work, you might as well put the seat forward a bit. As far as it goes. As far as it goes. Let me get this... Rub... Let me get that out of the way. Right. So, dive under the seat, there's some little, what's the story, you've done this one, in? Eh? There are uh, little elasticated straps with some plastic Let hooks on. So you just got to unhook it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see just sort of zoom under there and... Two of them, one on each side. They just hook on a little metal bar. Underneath. Yeah, so you just push it forward, they unhook. Right, and that, that. Oh, where's he going now? I got a book. You got a book? There you go, look. Owner's manual. Owner's manual. Just so we can uh, fold yeah. that up out of the way. Yeah. Right. Those hooks don't hook up in there, do they? Can we use them flash like that? No. Oh, twist them around. Oh, look at that. That's, that's a pro tip from me there. Look at that. Um, so that should expose two bolts underneath. Yeah. Which are T25, T20s? I think they were. So they're straight up into the plastic. Yeah, you can see those reasonably. Probably I'll see them if I... They're in the corner of that panel, aren't they? Yeah. So I'm trying to think why else you'd want to take the back of your seat off. Clean it, replace the upholstery, that's a bit more complicated okay, than yeah, we're yeah, doing. We're getting that keen. So then, it seems if you pull from the bottom corners, where those bolts were, you can take that whole whole panel off there. Yep. So let's, go, let's have a quick look at the clips on the side it's got. Oh, it seems to have taken a clip with it. Oh, it's got like, like a spire clip on there. So okay. that should be... On the actual back of the seat, like that one there. Yeah. And then the clips on this. So you've got two that kind of hook down onto the seat over the top. And then you've got two at each side. If you just pull straight back from that bottom corner, seems to be the most efficient way. Right, yeah. Right. Uh, you can then, similar to the elasticated, Hooks at the front. Oh, that—that's just the bar, that's like just over the bar. there. Yeah, just hooks over that metal lip. 
that might give you a bit more room if you're trying to get to the bottom corners. And for the, the top, the top plastic panel, insert panel, start at one corner or both corners, and this literally just tucks into a channel down the side here. Gets a little bit tight around the corners. So it just pushes into that channel there yeah. in the plastic. So that's semi rigid, that frame on that, yeah. 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 It's kind of got a uh, sort of rigid eyesery. Yeah. And then if you go underneath the foam, Whoa, there's, a, there's a tab just here. Yeah. So you've got to push on that and pull towards okay, you. Okay, and it comes off with and all it, that. Yeah, I've got it. It yeah. shows you, releases Hold that. On, let me just have a little look at that again. Yeah, yeah. Releases that tab, so you push it in from the outside. Same on the other side. Same on the other side. Considering a career in uh, upholstery here? No. no. Not loving the upholstery. Those guys that do that, then. they're awesome. Is it just the, it's just the one clip each side? It there? should just untuck. Don't tell me the other one went really easy, now you're on video. No, the other one didn't. No. Is it the foam's keeping it? Yeah, it's got, it's, quite a, it's got quite a big bit. Once you get one side out... How are we going to get that back in? It's a lot easier. So that, so those big sort of ears at the top are tucked under the foam, are they? Yeah. And then at the bottom you've got to wiggle it up because there's these two two tabs that sit in these slots. So that's for the... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. the adjustment so there. To slide so slide it up. So, so when you put you it get, back... Once you get that out... How are we going to get that other thing back in behind there? Anyway. We'll have a go at that. Putting it back together is a different story. Yeah. But that will then Cut get the ears you to, off. Uh, Cut the ears off. To the hold of the back of the seat so you can trace any cables if you've got problems with bits not right, working. Right, let's, let's let's fly back to this seat in. You grab the you grab the light. Um, so so the, the guy in question was saying it and, and we've we've checked with Craig at Camtech, um, and he reckons that a lot of the headrest monitor failures are actually this lead fate. Now well, he didn't actually say which lead, because there's two leads. There's one lead, or the first part of the lead, is, comes down here, comes out through the, the little tail of the headrest there, works its way down, and, and comes out into... So that would normally just be sat. Sat is taped it normally, up, isn't it? It just sits inside there. Yeah. So we've just unhooked ours. Oh, it would right. normally just be sat. So you can follow it down, and it's got this sort of cloth tape on it. Um, and you can disconnect it here. It's but normally taped up as well, so we've yeah, peeled the tape, tape off, off of this. Um, but then there's another part of the lead that goes down around there and comes up underneath. So we're not going to do that, but you'd have to take the seat out, which is not... Um, and apparently, I think as the seat goes backwards and forwards, it can fatigue these, these wires. But apparently you can't buy them. They're not listed on Land Rover. Um, so you may have to look at just having a look at the wire and seeing what's wrong. Or getting one off another seat, second hand seat or something. Um, but hopefully that helps you guys. Um, it looks like we've got some pipe work in here for the, the heated seats and stuff. Uh, is that, or no, is that that's for the, the that's the lumber, isn't it? Sorry, the heated seats is all electric, sorry. Um, but there we go, that's the inside of a seat. Um, how do you get the screen out here? Just talk us through that one. Uh, okay. That was, so it should, it, to get it back on, you simply got to, push connector if I talk you through the opposite yeah, yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, we can, yeah. You've got a little push connector there with three three torque screws that go around to hold the actual the screen. Screen, in. right. They're just a T, T20 again, I think. Um, and it's just a series of clips. So I found if you take the bottom out first... Just give it a tug, yeah. Sharp, but I think you've just got to be brave. Yeah. Um, and then it's just a series of, of clips all the way around the edge. A couple of ours I've broken in the top corner. Yeah, in getting it off. Um, but it should be enough to hold it. Back but there's no, they, you can looking no, at it. There's no special no trick screws, way. No, no. You can try and get a trim tool in around the edge to to press them, if you if you see fit. But I think you can get up to actually. Once you can kind of get the bottom out, you could get up to press these. Yeah. There seems to be slots in the plastic to allow you to get a tool up and press. But them. you've got the screen in at that point, though. Yeah, I think you can get the bottom out. And then you'd probably be able to just about get to the screws to get the screen out. out. But yeah, um, but yeah, I, it was just a case of being brave and pulling. Right. right. If anyone's got any tips, put it in the comments below. There we go.